Hi, I'm Linda Poole. How are you? I'm here in Grand Rapids, and uh, today I'm teaching mermaids, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to highlight hair. Not at the hair salon, but in Linda's painting salon. Okay, so um, the way we uh, started our hair color is we, we painted it with uh, Drouin Inktense pencils, and uh, you can paint it by coloring it, you can uh, take it up off the box, you can make a little palette. So what I'm going to show you is using the palette. I rubbed the pencils on here, and with a textile medium, I'm going to pick a color, and I'm just going to highlight areas. It's just going to give uh, the hair a little shading, a little punch of color so it doesn't look flat. So I picked up some fuchsia, and now I'm just going to intensify these areas. As you can see, it's much darker than the other colors that we see, but I'm not going to make this whole strand uh, that intense. I'm going to pick up a little violet. Violet goes beautiful with fuchsia. If you get too much on your paintbrush, you can just twirl it out on the paper plate. And let's put, um, well, let's put a little bit of violet right here. And then let's go back into the fuchsia. let's just put a little bit underneath that violet because it'll bring the color out. So you see a little bit more intensity of color, a breakup of the strands, a little bit more stronger, intense uh, colors on her head. Now, for her lips, let me just get, let me just get a little bit of this color out. I'm just going to go nice and light with a little bit of fuchsia on her lips. I don't have to make it too strong. We want to add a little bit of a gloss to her. So I'm going to just go a little bit stronger in the corners and the top. wipe out the brush, and now almost with a dry brush, we smoothed it out. So you can see it's a little bit lighter in, in the uh, center of her lips. That's really all that there is, is to highlighting, is just going back a second time and adding a little bit more intense colors. And I, what I'll do is I'll just go a little bit here, a little bit there. In this area, I see way too much orange. So I'm going to go back right into that fuchsia. And I'm going to make it stronger in this area. And I'll do one more just to balance it. Maybe we'll go into some tangerine, and let's put a little tangerine here so it doesn't look all, all yellow or, or one color. And you, I'm sure you can see right now how I broke up the strands. Okay, so you can come see me on iQuilt.com. I have an online class there teaching um, artistic painted applique, and you get to have me three, a little over three hours right there in front of you teaching everything you need to know. I really appreciate you viewing and coming to see me today. It's lindampool.com. Thank you.